In this video, I'm going to show you the best process to create highly search engine optimized content using a custom script, custom instruction, and chat GPT. And this is going to rank on Google extremely fast. Now, if that sounds good, watch to the very end. I'll also be giving you the script demoed in this video, and it is 100% free. And this script will allow you to scrape valuable data from high ranking content instantly and we can use this information to generate our SEO content. You will find the entire process down in the description, so feel free to check that out. And there's a link to this detailed reference guide, so you can check that out also. Okay, so the first step is we're gonna find our keyword. The way we can do that is we're gonna use Google Ads. It's totally free. If you don't have an account, just Google it and grab one. Once you get in here, you wanna to go to Tools and then to the Keyword Planner. Then we're just gonna hit Discover New Keywords. Now, I just wanna set this, I've got it set to the United States. Uh, English is the, the language, and then I'm just going to type in, say, AI business ideas, and we will get the results. So what we're looking for here is a keyword that has a three-month change of plus 500%, plus 900%, which shows that this particular keyword is high search at the moment, and the trend is upwards. So this one here looks pretty good. So machine learning business ideas, we'll just copy this keyword, then we'll head over to Google. And we'll just Google it. And the first thing you're going to see here is this section where it's people also ask. What we want to do here is we want to copy this and just copy it. And we're going to put that into a notepad or a word file because we'll come back to that shortly. The other thing we want to do when we Google our keyword for our, within our niche, we want to just have a look at some of the top articles that are ranking. These want to be in, in the style of article. So if you want to do you know, the top 20 you know, business ideas and machine learning, you might look at those, or if you just want a more of a general uh, type article and a few lists and bullet points, you know, go for that. So I've selected a couple of articles. The first one is this one here from entrepreneur.com. It's seven AI based business ideas that will make you rich. It looks like a pretty good article. It is ranking in the, in the number two position. It was only published a couple of weeks ago. And the other article that I've selected here is very similar. It's a comprehensive list of artificial intelligence business ideas. And it's also, this is ranking in the fourth or fifth position. So what we want to do now, we have got our people also ask for information here, and we've selected our two top ranking articles that we want to explore a bit further. This is where we, we go over to our script, and this is where the magic is going to happen. So to run our script, we're going to need Visual Studio Code and a couple of prerequisites installed. If you haven't got Visual Studio Code, just head over to code.visualstudio.com and download it. I will leave a link in the description. The other bit of software you're going to need installed is Python. Just head to python.org and grab that. Just install it. It's all pretty straightforward. Once we've done that, you can just click on the, the link below that's going to take you to the site where you can grab all the instructions. So as you can see here, install Visual Studio Code, install Python. There's detailed instructions here. Now, this is where I will take you through in a bit more detail. Now, we're going to create this new Python file. We're going to copy and paste some code in, and we're going to put in the Python modules that we need, and then we're good to go. Okay, so I've got a bit of a split screen thing going on here just to make it a bit easier to explain. The first thing we want to do is just check that Python's installed. To do that, you just click over here on the extensions, and you can see here that if I click on Python, it's installed and pretty popular, over 100 million downloads. So with Python confirmed, just go back up to the Explorer. We'll just close that one down. Now, the first thing you'll see over here, it says we want to create a Python file. So it, it, the Python file is going to be called keywordanalysis.py. So we'll just copy that. Then back on this screen here, you'll just see this little page with the plus symbol on new file. Just click on that one, paste that in, hit enter. So we can tick that one off. Next, copy and paste the actual code. So if we scroll down a little bit, here is the code. So we can just grab all that. So once you've got all the code, just copy it, paste it over here. And then make sure you go up to file and hit save. Okay, what's next? So once you've got the code pasted in, next we just need to install the, the modules. To do that, you just want to go up to where it says terminal and open a new terminal. I've already got one open here. You can see it here. It's where my cursor is. What you want to do is just copy these instructions here. So this pip install requests, you copy. Now, 
I already have it installed, so it's probably going to say it's installed or something. But anyway, just put that in there, hit enter. Okay, and you want to do that for this pip install beautiful soup 4, pip install NLTK, and pip install sklearn. Once they are all in, you can actually run the script. To run it, you just type in python keyword underscore analysis dot py, and then you can just hit enter. Now, the first thing that's going to prompt you here is how many web page URLs do you want to analyze? Now, I'm just going to put in one for the moment, and it asks for the web page URL. Now, I've got it in the clipboard. Now, you'll notice in terminal, you can't control V on Windows. You have to right click your mouse, and then whatever's on the clipboard will appear. Just a hot tip for you. Once that's there, you can just hit enter. When that runs, you'll notice pretty much instantly a new file will be created up here on the left called kwanalysis.txt. So if we just click on that, the first line here, it's actually just telling us the URL that we entered in. That makes sense. The next one here is our preview text. So it really is just to confirm that we are on the right page and it's extracting the text from the, from the site we expected. Next one here, we've got our LSI keywords here. Here we have our high frequency keywords. And in brackets, that's how many times these words appeared within the article. And then we have high frequency two word phrases. So it's pretty, pretty straightforward, but it's a very quick way of extracting this key semantic and high frequency keyword information from a piece of text. We can also do a couple of other things if we run it again for multiple sites. So if we just go back to keyword analysis file here and we can run this again, again, it'll ask us how many web pages do we want to run it for? This time we'll put in two. Now it's going to ask us, What's the expected length of the article you want to write? So I'm going to put in 1200 words here. Now, if I right click, I've still got the other one on the clipboard. Now I'm just going to grab the other article. So this is the second URL that we selected earlier. And you can tell that the process is now run. We can view it again by going to keyword analysis.txt. Now you'll see we have a lot more information. So I'll just close the terminal window here. So a bit like the Previous one, we just get the, the same stuff for the first URL. But now we also have the analyst analytics for the for the second URL. And down a bit further, we have what's called this aggregated analysis. So this is combining and normalizing the LSI keywords for us to, to use in our new article. And it does the same with the high frequency keywords and the high frequency keyword phrases. So these are the kind of things that you would expect to see from this article, like AI business, business ideas, startup ideas, artificial intelligence, generative AI, machine learning. So this is very similar to what Surfer SEO is doing. Now, if you've ever used Surfer SEO, some of this might look sort of familiar. When you enter in a, a web page or a keyword into surfer it goes off and it comes back with all these words you should include in your content and it gives you a score and it optimizes but this is 69 us dollars a month with this script you can extract very similar information out and it'll also give you the ranges that are appearing in these articles and this normalized aggregate analysis gives you an idea of the frequency of these keywords and phrases and lsi keywords that you should include in the article length that you nominate it. And you can see here best practices for a 1200 word blog article. It's the 1200 words we entered in. And you can see here, a bit like Surfer SEO, we've got the expected H1 count, H2, H3, H4, the number of images. And also it gives us some tips in terms of improving our SEO. So use descriptive engaging title, include target keyword in the title, use subheadings to break the content, include internal and external links, optimizes, optimize the images, use bullet points, include a call to action and keep the paragraphs short and easy to read. Also include the social share buttons on the page. So the next step is we want to take this aggregated data and have a, have a look at it and make sure it is the kind of information we want to use in our article. If there's anything weird, we just want to delete it out. But otherwise, we're going to take these LSI keywords, the high frequency keywords and the two word phrases and we are going to put this into ChatGPT shortly and use it to take a average article and convert it into a very highly optimized article using keywords and phrases that we know are in the top ranking articles for this keyword. So we've just jumped over to ChatGPT. I'm going to put in a stock standard prompt. This is to try to 
prep the AI to understand what we want and make sure it understands. So the first prompt is basically saying you're an SEO expert and you draft high quality blog articles. And the important thing here is we are instructing it to return the contents in English and we're telling it to target a readability level of 10th grade. And so this means short sentences, use bullet points and lists to help improve the readability. Do you understand? Perfect. Okay, now I'll put the next prompt in. So our second prompt here is this first draft should be around 1,000 to 1,400 word range. And do not use the title conclusion in the content. Be more creative. Do you understand? Perfect. All right, now I'll put in the third prompt. So the third prompt I'm entering in here is draft the article for the blog titled Best Machine Learning Business Ideas. And we'll see what it comes up with. Now, I'm expecting it to be fairly sort of thin content, a lot of bullet points and not too many paragraphs, but that's okay. We're going to fix that. So our first draft has been done. It looks like it's come up with something weird on the numbering, but I'm sure the next cut will fix this. And you can see there's not really many paragraphs per headings. It's avoided you know, the word conclusion that tends to appear in every single AI written article. So it's saying here, wrapping up the potential, which I kind of like that. So that's good. Now I'm going to enter in one more prompt to tell it to sort of expand on the level of depth of the article and also include those people also ask questions that we copied and paste earlier in the video. So here's the, the final prompt in this phase. So this is going to tell it to include a paragraph to explain each business idea in more detail. And I've also copied and pasted in here all of the people also ask questions and then told it it must be an in-depth article. So we'll hit go on this one. And you can see already it's adding depth to each business idea, more words and a few dot points for each one. So this is looking pretty good. And you can see here addressing common questions. So this is where we're answering those questions that people frequently ask. And this is going to help target the, the intent when people do the search. So with that done, the next step is we're actually going to copy this article. So we just hit the copy here. I'm going to start a new chat. Now, the next step is we need to turn on our custom prompt. So I'm just going to do that now. So we've got this custom instructions in here in the what would you like ChatGP to know about you to provide a better response? I've got in here that I create SEO articles for my website, mangojuice.app. I review high ranking Google content. I scan it for LSI keywords and high frequency keywords. And I'm going to provide you a draft SEO article. And I expect that you will update the article and include a list of LSI keywords and high frequency keywords. And how would you like it to respond? Very similar, except in here, I've actually pasted in the LSI keywords and the high frequency keywords and the high frequency key phrases. And this has come directly from our output text file previously. So just to speed things up, I've already put these in. Now I need to turn this on, enable for new chats, press save. Now the next prompt is, we're just gonna ask the AI, using the custom instructions, can you update a draft article for me? And you're gonna see here that it says, of course, Please provide the article and I will update it to make sure it includes all the LSI keywords, the high frequency keywords and the specific key phrases throughout the article. This is exactly what we want. Now we just paste in the draft article we did from the previous step and we'll hit go. So our article is finished. It's given us 10 really good machine learning business ideas. It's also wrapped up the end of it with addressing the common questions to target our people also asked and it's given a great conclusion without saying conclusion and lastly it also points out that it has used the keywords and phrases that have and they've been carefully incorporated uh, to enhance the seo so that is pretty much done we're going to take this article and we're going to put it into our cms we're also going to include some images some seo metadata some meta description and add the table of contents and some custom images so while we're just on here, we're going to ask it to provide a table of contents. Perfect. So that's our table of contents. And then we'll get the meta title, meta description. Okay. So we've got our meta title, meta description. That's everything we need from ChatGPT. And I will use Bing to get some custom images using DALI E3 and also use Bing to get some up-to-date links around this topic. 
that our article can link off to to also help the user, which Google loves. So if you would like to get your hands on a copy of the Python script demoed in today's video, you can just head to the Ambitious Hub, click on this one here, it's the multi web page keyword analysis, and it has everything you need, including the prompts that I use. You can just copy and paste them and change whatever you need to change. The other thing worth pointing out here is you can sign up for the AI SEO connection newsletter. You can also join the Patreon. We've got various packages to help with SEO. Now, let's just take a look at the end result from today's content we did. If you head over here to mangojuice.app, you can see the article has been published. We just click on it. Now, it's not completely finished. I have to do some minor tweaks on this just to finish it off. But here's a heading, machine learning business ideas, a revolution is upon us. We've got a table of contents. The images have come from, from Bing, as I've mentioned. They're looking pretty cool. And down the bottom, the other thing I've been doing in more recent uh, blog posts is going to Bing and asking it for three or four links to top ranking articles on the same subject. So you can take a look at these here. And I think this really just helps complete out the article and make it helpful to the user. There's one final step you should do if you're doing this process is log into Google Search Console and force the indexing and then you're good to go. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you got some value and I'll see you in the next one.